Gang, the truth about the 2020 election is getting revealed one court case at a time. We're going to see the latest bombshell coming out of a courtroom in Virginia and what it means for election integrity as we head into 2024. You're not going to want to miss this. Hey, gang, it's me, Dr. Steve, your patriot professor, here to help you to think better so you can feel better in these crazy and turbulent times. So if you have already done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. Also, you have got to click on that link below and learn how you can stick it to the establishment by using their own corruption against them. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Companies like BlackRock have been bribing corrupt politicians like Nancy Pelosi with insider trading secrets for decades now. They know a whole host of trading secrets that gives them an unfair advantage when picking stocks. But did you know that thanks to a little known SEC database, guess what? We have access to those very same secrets as well. We get to see what stocks these corporate CEOs are buying up in real time. And then we get to piggyback on their trades to gain the same advantage for ourselves that Pelosi and the crooks in D.C. have. My friend Ross Givens, he's been tracking insider trading for years now. And his recommendations have led to investment returns of over 200%. Some of it as high as nearly 1,500%. And now it's your turn. Click on that link below right now and learn how you too can learn to trade like Pelosi. Click on that link and learn how to gain an insider advantage for yourself today. It's being widely reported that an ex-Virginia election official allegedly altered election results in the 2020 election. Former Prince William County General Registrar Michelle White was indicted by a grand jury on two felony counts alleging corrupt conduct as an election official, as well as making a false statement and one misdemeanor charge of willful neglect of duty by an election officer last year. So back in September 2022, this former Prince William County General Registrar was indicted by a grand jury on two felony counts alleging corrupt conduct as an election official and making that uh, a false statement, along with one misdemeanor indictment of willful neglect of duty by an election officer. Unfortunately, the exact details of what she actually did have yet to be publicly revealed. And the current general registrar is assuring us that the election alterations did not ultimately impact any election outcomes. Biden won the county by 10 points back in 2020. Now, this, of course, is not the only case involving election integrity that's going on right now. Last week, we reported on a district court judge who ruled that the electronic voting machines used by the state of Georgia have substantial flaws and must undergo judicial review. Federal Judge Amy Totenberg ruled that there is an imminent risk that voters will have their voting rights suppressed by the use of these electronic machines. And so a trial date has been scheduled now for January 9th to determine the integrity of their security. At the heart of the case is what's known as the Coffee County breach. And this involves an unauthorized access of sensitive voting equipment, Coffee County, Georgia, a county of about 40,000 people at and around the time of the 2020 election. That breach did, in fact, change numbers a change that election officials were reportedly at a complete loss at accounting for in terms of how it happened. And so this unauthorized breach obviously called into question the security integrity of the electronic voting machines, which will now go through judicial review in January. All of this is happening on top of the latest bombshell ruling in Connecticut, my home state. A judge recently overturned a primary election in the city of Bridgeport after seeing what he called shocking surveillance footage of multiple people stuffing multiple absentee ballots in outdoor drop boxes. The judge concluded that there was indeed enough evidence of foul play for the primary election to be overturned and ordered the Secretary of State to schedule a new primary election. And what was so interesting, of course, is that this court ruling responded to precisely the kind of fraud that was documented on a mass scale in Dinesh D'Souza's 2000 Mules, where they used geofencing technology, which is basically a technology that tracks your cell phone, to track the movement of what are called mules or people who pick up ballots at warehouses and, and deliver the ballots to drop off boxes. The film compared the tracking technology they acquired with security camera footage at the drop off locations themselves 
And according to the documentary, they found that these mules were delivering multiple ballots to multiple ballot boxes in different locations, basically stuffing ballot boxes, exactly what's going on in Bridgeport. And so the conclusion of the film is that were we to discount the estimated number of votes that were illegally delivered, Donald Trump would have won this election easily. And again, we had further confirmation of that with the decision two years after the 2020 election from the Wisconsin Supreme Court that ruled that hundreds of thousands of ballots that were cast in their state in 2020 were actually illegal. Two years after the fact, the Wisconsin Supreme Court banned the use of drop boxes in all future elections from their state because they violated Wisconsin election law. In fact, as Slate.com noted in their headline, the ruling in many respects suggested that Biden's 2020 victory was, quote, illegitimate in that he won Wisconsin by barely 20,000 votes. So as frustrating as all of this is, without question, it does appear that slowly but surely, the shenanigans that appear to have plagued the 2020 election are indeed finally getting resolved just in time for 2024. Are you ready to join the resistance? Because I'm leading a group of dedicated, courageous patriots who can lead a spearhead into the heart of the secular globalist establishment. We punish Bud Light and Target, driven CNN and the legacy media to near bankruptcy, forced BlackRock to backtrack on ESG, and now we're seeing our conservative-dominated Supreme Court ending affirmative action and protecting religious liberty. In my Insiders Club, I show you concrete steps to take locally and online that will only keep this mass uprising going until the battle is won. Don't wait. Click the link in my description below and join my Courageous Patriots Insiders Club today.